Hey ladies, welcome back to another Love Me Hair wig install. Summer is near, so it is time to stack up on these curly bob wigs. Today's wig is called their Wet and Wavy Water Wave 4x4 Lace Closure Glueless Side Part Short Wig. 100% human hair, 150% density. I have it in 12 inches, and I will be showing you guys what this hair looks like if you were to straighten it, but we'll talk more about that in just a few. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing, showing you guys exactly what I received along with this wig unit in itself. You guys know that they like to send a couple of goodies along with your wig unit. Here is the hair here So again, it's more so of like this wavy type texture a very loose curl pattern Very pretty straight out the box the lace is a 4x4 lace closure You do have the combs inside of the wig cap and the strap for a glueless wig install However, this particular strap is not adjustable. So keep that in mind Okay, here is a close-up of that lace as you guys can see she is pretty invisible Those knots are nowhere to be found. So it looks like we're going to have a very natural wig install so as always, I'm going to add some foundation onto the lace. This is what helps the lace match your skin color. In this case, I'm wearing makeup, so I really want to make sure that everything is blended in nicely. Then I'm going to go ahead and just throw the wig on, make sure everything is centered. And as always, I'm going to use my wax stick and my comb to get all those little pieces of hair away from the lace because we do have to cut off all this additional lace and I do not want to accidentally cut off the hair. So I do need a clean space to work with. So I'm using my scissors with these natural ridges in them, aka natural curves in it to cut off this lace. If you have regular scissors, just remember to cut in a zigzag motion. That way you're not giving yourself a blunt cut and it doesn't look too noticeable. Then whatever lace is left, I'm just going to add a little bit more foundation on it just to help blend it in with the rest of my makeup. As you guys can see, we barely have any lace to work with. I cut off quite a bit and it is still giving a very natural hairline. I did not want to leave too much lace on this wig because it needed to go. Now the one thing that I did realize is that the wig was not laying where I wanted it to. We do not have the adjustable strap with this particular wig so the lace kind of kept sliding back a little bit so I did have to use a little bit of my lace melting spray just to keep it centered. So now I'm going to go ahead and use a lighter foundation in this little C part that we have here. A lighter foundation kind of just mimics my scalp so that's why I go in with a different shade for this part. So here is a close up of this lace you guys. As you can see she is looking extremely natural which is great. Please remember that this is a 4x4 lace closure so you do have a small lace however you can switch this to a middle part if you would like. You can also switch this to a little side part. It's not going to go too far but you can still kind of finesse it a little bit. So just keep that in mind but I decided to keep this at a C part. So let's go ahead and style the rest of this hair. This is kind of like a loose curly texture and as you guys can see she's a little frizzy. A little matted so we're gonna take some water and I'm just gonna finger comb through her I did not add any additional product in this wig because she was super lightweight and I just feel like adding product would weigh the hair down if you would like to add product my best suggestion would be to use a mousse which I did not have I ran out unfortunately but you can definitely use a mousse I feel like a gel would be just a little bit too much this hair kind of reminds me of like a water wave type texture so it was real simple with just the water the curls were popping with just the water so this is just a preference thing okay as far as the shedding goes this wig had like minimal shedding I tried to show you guys on camera but like you could barely even see it in the lens this wig barely shed which is great she also did not tangle so she was very lightweight very fluffy very easy to work with so I have no complaints about the hair quality at all So as you guys see here, I'm just running my hands through the curls, scrunching up some of the curls just to make sure that everything is fully detangled and the curls are doing their best to be seen and noticed. So this is what the hair looks like when it is wet. And I'm gonna give you guys close-ups. I'm also gonna give you guys a little bit of a 360 and then I just allowed it to air dry. So 
So this is what the hair looks like when it is dry. Again, very minimalist, very everyday, effortless type of curl. Very simple, flowy, fluffy. It's really pretty. To the touch, it's very soft as well. She was not dry at all. And it was just really effortless, so I liked it. So... I did go ahead and straighten one side off camera and I'm going to show you guys the other side. Now this is just a marketing thing, you guys know I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. To the everyday consumer, a lot of girls buy wigs and they want to make sure that the wig could do more than just one style. You want to be able to have versatility, etc. Because let's be honest, everyone is on a budget nowadays so when it comes to wigs, it's extremely important that you can do more than one thing with it. I personally do not recommend straightening curly wigs especially straightening them all the time because I feel like it alters the life of the wig unit. However, I'm just showing you guys that it is capable with this wig unit. Straightening it every once in a while is great, but all the time I do not recommend it. So I'm straightening this on camera and as you guys can see, I did have to go over the pieces a couple of times and the degrees is on 450. So she's at the highest of the high, okay? My recommendation is that if you would like to straighten this wig, wash the wig and blow dry her and then go ahead and straighten her and i recommend getting this done a day before because this was very time consuming also as i am straightening the hair you guys will notice that the ends are looking a little bit more thin versus how it was looking in its curly state so you will have to go in and trim the hair it's just way too noticeable for me i also feel like the flyaways was a little too noticeable as well but don't get me wrong the density after it was straightened was really pretty love me hair wigs are always in 150 percent density so their straight units are very like thin and silky so straightening a curly wig gives you a lot more density I will give them that and it looks very natural still however you are going to have to put in a little bit more effort while you are styling it in its straight state that way it can look its best but this is what she looks like when she is all the way straight. Again, you would have to go in and cut those ends because they are way too noticeable. I did not cut them because I was going to turn it right back to its curly state. And you guys know, once I turned it back to its curly state, it was going to be even shorter if I went ahead and cut the hair. So just be cautious of this, you guys. If you're one of those girls who do like to straighten your curly wigs, again, I do not recommend that you do it all the time. Once in a blue moon is fine. Just make sure you are very careful with it because you want your wigs to last for more more than five months correct a lot of us want our wigs to last a year or more so just be cautious with it even though it's 100 percent human hair it's a wig there's no additional new growth coming out of this wig unit so just be careful but you guys are seeing in real time that i am turning this straight wig back to its curly state it is going to take you some time it took me some time i did have to keep adding water keep running my hands through the hair scrunching it up just to help the curls come back to life so again i'm strictly doing this just to show you guys that you can straighten this wig unit and it will go back to its natural state just keep in mind of all the key points that i made earlier So we finally got one side back to its curly state. So let's go ahead and work on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys another 360. If you are wondering if I did have crazy amount of shedding and tangling while I was doing this, being that I altered the hair so much, I actually did it, which is great. That showcases that the hair, again, is of great quality. But again, I do not recommend doing this all of the time. If you know you like to keep your hair straight majority of the time, then purchase a straight wig. They have great straight wig options. If you know that you like to keep your hair curly majority of the time then this is the wig for you but if you are one of those girlies who do like to straighten your wigs every now and again at least you have full proof that you'll be able to straighten it and it'll go back to its natural state Okay, you guys, she is back. So again, like I mentioned earlier, if I was to cut those ends while she was straightened, just imagine how short this hair would have been because I would have had to cut 
quite a bit but this is what the curls are looking like right now in its wet state okay but she went right back to normal per this outro so Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you did learn something today. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this wig unit. Let me know if you liked this wig unit in its straight state or if you prefer the curly state like myself. The direct link will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.